you're looking at the warmest color temperature setting to our coolest color temperature setting. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, we're gonna be checking out the BenQ Genie e-reading lamp. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. You can see the retail box and packaging right here, walking us through a couple of key tech specs, and you can see some great product photography showing our nice table lamp in action. So this lamp in particular has a couple of key features that sets it apart from other lamps on the market today. The first one is that this casts a really wide field of light, 35 inches to be exact. And the second thing that really sets it apart is this has intelligent light detection so it can read and sense the ambient light in the room and set the lamp accordingly all done for you automatically now let's go ahead let's open it up and look at the contents here are all the contents first up you can see we have our product literature right here with our service information followed by our quick start guide walking us through how to install and assemble everything in just a couple of quick steps and then the back side they have all of your control information as well so you can learn how to use the lamp then you can see we have our tools and hardware kit right here, everything we need for installation, our BenQ power supply and adapter, even branded with their logo and branding, looks great. Next, you can see our nice weighted metal base right here. Again, we have the BenQ logo and branding down at the bottom, really nice white color. On the back side, you can see right here, we got our channel for some cable management where we're gonna attach the screws to get the lamp head installed. You can see the bottom of the base as well with some additional product information. This does have some adjustments too, so we can tilt it down or we can tilt it straight up. And last but not least, we have our lamp head itself in gold. They have multiple colors available. We have the gold version here. They have silver, blue, and red. So check that out. Look at how nice the gold finish looks with the gold matching braided cable. Really sharp. Looks great. You can see how we're gonna be able to have that really wide illumination right here with our LEDs. And you can see our mounting option as well for our stand. Now let's go ahead, let's get everything installed. So the first step for installation is to go ahead, you can see the piece we have right here in our lamp head. We're just gonna gently push it in place. And now we're ready to take the two included screws that we have with the included Allen wrench and fasten everything in place. All right, so there you go. You can see we have both screws fastened in place. Really nice hinge right there and how it can pivot on this ball. So that's assembled. Now we're ready to go ahead, leave a little bit of slack in the cable right here again so we can make our full adjustments with the lamp. But then we're just gonna go ahead, we're gonna expand our cable out and we're just gonna gently press it in place. So now the cable's installed, you can see everything looks great and it works great as you would expect. Just make sure to leave that little bit of slack up there to allow the lamp to have full movement. Connect here and plug it in to an outlet. Now that it's plugged in, let's go ahead, let's power it on. You might be wondering, hey, how do I turn on this lamp? Well, I'm glad you asked. Just tap the ring at the top. There you go, now you can see we have light. Our control knob is at the top too. This knob allows us to be able to adjust the brightness as well as the color temperature. So first up, you can see we're adjusting color temperature right here. We can go really cool or we can go really warm. We can press it again. And now you can see we're going to be able to adjust the brightness of this lamp. And lastly, if you're wondering about our auto dimming mode, our intelligent mode, you're going to go ahead on the ring at the top, right where it basically meets the gold part of the lamp head. You're gonna hold it down right there for two seconds and now you can see it's illuminated orange for us. This is gonna be our book reading mode where again, it measures the ambient light in the room and sets it accordingly if you want to read a book under this lamp. We can hold it down again for two more seconds and now it's changed in illuminated green. So we do have nice visual indicators right there. And now we have our screen reading mode enabled. This is gonna be if you want to use your device under the light, you have that nice auto intelligent mode right there. So you can choose between both options or with this lamp, you can set it yourself. Now you can see we have all the studio lights off here and we're currently just illuminating the room with our BenQ Genie lamp. 
I wanted to talk about the brightness on this thing. So it's currently rated at 1800 lumens at 40 centimeters for the height. And if you want to talk about the color temperature options, it's 2700 kelvins. That's the nice warm light all the way up to 5700 kelvins, giving you that nice daylight temperature and beyond. Also with this particular lamp, we have 13 color temperature choices and 23 brightness adjustment so you can really fine tune this lamp to your needs. So now on the tabletop right here, you're looking at the warmest color temperature setting. Again, that's gonna be 2,700 Kelvins. Now let's turn it all the way up to our coolest color temperature setting. So you can see that's gonna be our 5,700 Kelvins. Both look great and obviously you can land somewhere in the middle depending on what you prefer. Now we're looking at the max brightness for the lamp right here. Let's go ahead, let's adjust it so you can see the minimum brightness as well. So there's our minimum brightness and then we can increase as desired. Now let's try out our auto dimming settings in the dark. So we're gonna hold it for two seconds. It illuminates, it's reading the room for the ambient light and you can see currently with the orange indicator, we know that's for book. So this is gonna be our book mode. Now let's hold it down for two more seconds. Now you can see it changed to green. This is gonna be our screen reading mode. So whether your room's really dark, really light, or somewhere in between, with our intelligent auto dimming mode, it's gonna be able to optimize and balance the light for you, helping to reduce glare, whether you're looking at a digital screen or a physical book. So here are my final thoughts on the BenQ Genie. I gotta say, if you're looking for a premium table lamp for maybe your home office, a bedroom or a living room, this is gonna be the lamp for you. It's made out of high quality parts and components. The LED is rated to last 50,000 hours. We have aluminum alloy for the materials that are used and we have the gold version, but they have multiple colors available depending on your preference. And I love that the cable matches too. Did I mention the really cool touch controls and panels? This is definitely a premium lamp. The base is great too. It's heavy, sturdy, able to support itself. You can adjust it however you see fit. The ball head construction is great too up at the top, so we can adjust it in or out as well, up or down again. You just gotta find the right angle for whatever project, craft, or whatever you're reading. You will enjoy the flexibility that this lamp gives you. Now, for singing all of its praises, you might be wondering, well, hey, after using it, what would you wanna see maybe improved or changed in the future? There's really only one thing I can think of, and that would be having some sort of maybe lazy Susan built into this, where you could actually rotate it to the left or to the right, but keeping the base fixed in place. So whether the whole base rotates or maybe just this portion, that would be cool if it could rotate around so you actually had like a swivel feature built into it and maybe a way to lock that. So for some people that don't want that, you don't have to activate it. But if you did want that, it would be nice to be able to do that as well. Kind of like swivel it in when you want to use it or maybe out of the way. But overall, a fantastic table lamp made out of high quality parts and components. Premium, premium, premium is the word that I'm left with after using this lamp.